Welcome to the last day of How to ABX. This video ends the series I have now done every single season. Today is 10-19-2023, it is Paralyzed Season, and today is Blast Villain Day. So we'll be running Magneto, Tier 4, with a Rage. Basically you're going to spam everything 5, you want to delay just enough so the bubble will appear. Uh, you don't have to wait for the bubble to appear, but you do want to delay it just a little bit until it begins to appear. Everything else you just pretty much spam and instantly cancel. So let me go ahead and show you that in action, and if you want to stick around till the end, as always, I will give additional details if you are interested, like alternate teams and why I'm building the team the way I'm building the team. All right, so Magneto comes right in with a 5, then I just do a 2, 1, 3, 4. doesn't really matter the order you go in, you're just going to hit them as soon as they're on cooldown. Waiting on 2 and 1 for like a fraction of a second, so if you save them towards the end, it's useful. 7 you want to use as soon as possible, and, and as you can see, it's literally just spamming your skills. Like I said, no direct order. Having 5 first, and then like a 5, 7, 6, if they line up that way, it does do a little bit extra damage. Not worth waiting. You'll lose damage if you wait and try to keep skills together. So just cancel them. Tier 3 is the same way. You, you don't have to wait on any of these skills. <coughs> Two and one does do a, a little bit more if you give it just a fraction of a second. But like I said, I, I, I just don't pay attention to it. The main thing you want to pay attention to is the roars. When are the roars coming? So 209 is a roar, so you don't want to get into any big combo. Like, I don't want to use my seven right now because he's going to jump center, even if you can delay it. As soon as he's targetable, go right back in the rotation. As you can see, I've got multiple skills that are capable of canceling. Uh, so you don't really necessarily need to save skills for Paralyzed Season either. Uh, the next roar and paralyze. Paralyze is the only time the second roar is at 116. The other two seasons is 126. Again, you can delay roars depending on what attack he's doing or what attack you hit him hit the beast with. But for the most part, you can pretty much assume the roar is going to be around the same time. First roar is always 209. Uh, second roar is either 116 on paralyze season or 126 on the other two. And the last roar is always at 38 seconds left on the clock in the upper left corner there. So, as you can see, Magneto just does a tremendous amount of damage. He, in my opinion, is the unofficial king of AB. Uh, qu queen of AB would probably be Luna. All right, so there's that 116. I probably could have saved that 7 a little bit, but as you can see, you just go right back into it, and the cancels are there. All right. You could do auto attacks while you're waiting for skills to cool down, but I try... I, if there's two seconds left on the cooldown timer on the skill, you probably want to start rapidly hitting that, just so you can get it as soon as possible. There is a mild delay, uh, so I, yeah. It's just, you kind of learn to work with it the more you play. Play it a few times, get used to how your character plays, the positioning, how far away he is from the beast. Staying near the beast is important, so you can do instant cancels. I'm going to go ahead and just save my 5 here, because he's about to jump center for the 38. Uh, we'll do these other skills though. It's just I want to get that five to amplify this stream of skills right here uh, Probably could have just used the five honestly It looked like he had quite a bit of a delay there in the last roar. So this is not a terrible score definitely could be better Typically for my account I expect Magneto to do around 15 million uh, but I Mean falling short of 15 million by a little bit is not the end of the world. Looks like I might be able to do 14 and a half. I'm, yeah, I'm going to be falling short of 15 million. Uh, all right, there we go. So 14.7 million, not ideal. And I just realized I left the how to do the rotation on the screen the whole time. So sorry about that. But you got to see it in action. You see how I play the character. 1478284. All right, write down my score as always. So let's first show my cards. I'm going to talk about them in detail because that's in separate videos. But if you want to pause it, you'll at least see how my account's built if you want to know why I'm scoring what I'm scoring. Uh, so there you go. There's my cards. Nothing special. Definitely need to rework my cards. Here are my X-Swords. All right, now that you see all the benefits I'm getting from my whole account outside of character builds, go ahead and go to Magneto's build. Magneto is a tier four character. So uniform is mythic. It is a seasonal uniform, Krakoa in winter. Uh, you do want to pick this up when it comes around. It's just a very, very powerful uniform. So far, the only pe person that really competes with him for days that he can do is Doctor Strange. And if you have them with the same build, I'm pretty much positive Magneto will outscore Doctor Strange. Uh, custom gear here is a Mighty Rage. He's worth a Brilliant Rage. I just haven't swapped it around yet. When it's half off on equip, I'll swap my Odin's Brilliant Rage with the Mighty Rage that's on my... Uh, Magneto, but he's definitely worth a rage. 
Lisa and Anger proc, but put a Rage on him. He's just such a powerful character in AB mode. If you want to focus on AB, give him a Rage and reforge it. Mighty's fine, but if you can go with a Brilliant, go with a Brilliant. As you can see here, it's 0.9. Uh, artifact to just have Destruction. I don't have his custom Artifact. That is an Instinct Match Quartz. Uh, the ISO 8 set is an attack set. As long as one of the three attack sets, you're fine. I'm, I'm running Poe on him. Uh, let's see, skills are all maxed out. Black Widow, for whatever reason, seems to be the best striker for ABX. I've experimented with different ones. This was advice given me for different people. And Black Widow does seem to score the most for me. I will be running him again, so I'll leave her on for right now. I do have a lot of Odin's Blessings on him. Not in every slot, but every slot is amplified with at least a six-star Uru. And then I've got a lot of Odin's Blessings on him. So could use a little bit more work, but not too bad. Uh, here's his overall stats. All the important ones are capped. So, there you go, that's my Magneto build. Let's talk about the team and alternate options in case you don't have Magneto. All right, Arena Alliance Battle Extreme. So, Magneto is a self-leadership, all meat and allies. Uh, over here in Chantress, you absolutely 100% need War of Realms uniform. If you go to the uniform itself, under the uniform options, you'll see why. So it's not a passive, it's a uniform option. So increase all basic attacks by 20 and increase damage dealt by 40%. Uh, without that uniform, she's not worth having, but yeah. I don't know if I would necessarily consider her worth the insight because she's not usable on a ton of teams, but the other one is Mysterio, who also needs to have his Summer Mystery uniform. Summer Mystery is a seasonal uniform, so if you missed it, you might not be able to use them. Without the uniform, don't bother putting them on the team. But with the uniform, we have another uniform effect going on here. Super Villain Allies increase basic attacks by 30% and increase damage dealt to boss types by 40%. So we like to stack that damage dealt. If you've watched my other videos before, you know this. I don't think his uh, artifact here, yeah, it's a self artifact. It doesn't, his artifact doesn't help with anything. I'm just double checking because there are some artifacts that actually help the teams they're on. But he's my insight character, 100% worth an insight. I would put an insight on him over Cyclops as long as you have the uniform because he's usable on more days. So there you go. That, in my opinion, is the meta team. Now let's talk about alternate options. So. Who would I use if I didn't have Magneto? Now, first of all, if you don't have Magneto's uniform, I probably wouldn't use Magneto at all. I mean, if you had no one else and you're eventually going to get the uniform, go ahead and use them. We don't have a lot of options. It's pretty much going to be Malekith or Mephisto. Mephisto is very, very, very expensive. If you absolutely had to, you could use Moonstone, but I would probably use Mephisto, Malekith, then Moonstone. That's probably how I personally would rank them in order. Magneto, Mephisto... Malekith, Moonstone. Malekith and Mephisto, I'm not sure because I don't really have a fully flushed out Malekith. Malekith is the budget option for sure, though. If you do not have these uniforms, who else can you use for support? Honestly, not a lot of options here either. Uh, the only real options, I mean, Claw does do this passive. Uh, where is it at? That all allies get 30% increased critical damage. I mean, it's better than nothing. Not really a great one by any means. And uh, technically, you could use Ebony Maul, I don't really see a big difference. I'm not sure if his uniform is actually affecting the beast or not. But there is a universe, universal increased damage 35% for all allies for damage dealt to universals. So I don't know if that applies to the beast. If it does, it's such a small bump, I don't really notice a difference, and you do need his uniform for that. Uh, Malekith does have a self-lead that's a passive on him. Uh, so over here, let's see, uh, self increases basic damage dealt to superheroes by 120%. This does nothing for you against the beast because the beast is a villain. So he's not really designed for AB in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, that's the additional info I have for you. Hopefully that was useful. As always, may your ABL sco a ABX scores, <laughs> I'll do ABL video next. And may your ABX scores be as high as possible. Thank you for watching this series. Hopefully it was helpful and maybe in the future I'll do a couple update videos as things change or new people become meta.